Hello there guys and welcome yet to another exciting video. Uh, uh, what's this? You, you, Jermaine, this is not me mate. No, this is Film Riot. Uh, hang on a minute, you're going to get me done for copyright here mate. Hang on. Jermaine, change your background. No, man. Why not? Because you all shit, man. Listen, Jermaine, stop it, stop this throughout, yeah? I am not film right, okay? Uh, can you change the background over right now, please? Yeah, change the background over. Uh, do it right now, please. No, I'll be late, film right, better than yours. Yeah, I know they're great, they're my mentors, but come on, you got to sort it. We need to do this video, yeah? We need to get it sorted. Yeah, but you're crap, bud. I am not crap, I am just a normal guy trying to get by the world. Change it. Change it now. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Hello there, my name is Carlo, and welcome yet to... He's, he's winding me up. Jermaine, come in. Oh, oh, ah. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, yeah, you can use one of us. Oh, slap you silly. Slap you silly. Now leave it like that. Hello there, my name of course is Carlo. Welcome yet to another exciting video. And the guys over at Action B Effect have reached out to me. Yeah, they have reached out to me. Bullshit. The guys over at Action B Effect have reached out to me and asked me if I would love to do a tutorial based on their asset packs and I said yes I said yes I would I never said no I said yes I would over at Attribute Effects and they asked me if I would like to do a tutorial on their asset packs so I said yeah no problem so here's what we're going to be creating today in this tutorial have a look at this <laughs> Right, so we're in After Effects, and I'm going to show you how I did the uh, fire bit uh, with the demon added to it. So this might be a bit of a long tutorial, so grab a cup of coffee, uh, a biscuit, or whatever you like to have or eat when you're doing uh, your After Effects work, and just get cracking. So I'm going to track this footage first, and I always use Fane as a track, or a tracker. Um, you can use uh, Mocha AE, you can use a built-in tracker in After Effects. It all works the same guys, um, but I'm just going to use AIM for that, uh, FAVE for that, so I'm just going to add my track um, to that, I'm just going to ignore that crap, um, let's just close all this for now, I'm going to get my uh, points and then I'm just going to do a nice uh, uh, track, uh, maybe around the door like that, which is cool, I'm going to make it stack area, hit start, um, I'm going to wait for that to uh, track out the door frame so I can add my fire elements uh, to that track. So I'll be right back guys once this is completed. So my uh, bits and pieces are tracked so that door is tracked beautifully or that track is tracked beautifully with my doors. So I want to select my clip and this is a tip for any fan users out there. Uh, click on activate. Um, that's fine, I'm going to keep that the way it is, I'm going to export, uh, no objects, with inserts, with new camera, boom. So I'm going to shut off my uh, fan and I'm going to shut off my solid, um, so we've just got our normal track, and now what I'm going to do is bring in some of my assets. Now, these assets I have uh, got from uh, Action VFX. Um, if you just go over to their website, guys, uh, make an account um, and just purchase what you need for your projects. Project, shall I say. These are first rate. These are proper 4K um, fires, structure fires. They, they've got everything you can wish for uh, for, um, <coughs> excuse me, your action uh, scenes. So um, 
I will add a link in the description below uh, for where you can get these assets from. Um, and they've got storage here so you can keep all your um, assets um, within the actual website itself. So you can just download them as you need, need them, shall I say. Um, and then you can literally just click on uh, one of the links and, and just check out what, what the assets are. Um, um, and how they look so you can match them up with your project so like i just said guys a link will be in the description below um, as this is a collaboration with uh, action vfx um, head over to them now um, and pick up your assets so i'm i've just downloaded a few assets that i'm going to need for my project um, and i'm just going to go to my desktop and i'm just going to uh, click on some of the assets that i'm going to need so i'm going to need um, these two and I am going to need um, this one, which is like a wall fire for my door. Um, and maybe um, a floor fire here. I'm gonna bring this one in, in as well. So, I'm gonna have a look um, at our first uh, asset, which is our corner fire. So I'm just gonna drop that in. These are 4K footage, guys, so remember that. Hit the toggle switch if you can't see a 3D layer, make that a 3D layer. Um, and then I'm gonna hold down Alt, and then I'm gonna get my pick whip tool and parent it to my null object uh, to put it in uh, position. So I'm gonna hold down Shift so I can move uh, my asset around a lot more quicker. I'm gonna put this this, this spot here uh, where I need, and I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to scale it up. Um, so I've got uh, quite a large uh, fire going up the door. Um, might need to reduce this because this is quite um, quite heavy this um, pack quality wise so I'm just going to line it up with my door maybe bring it up to the top oh bring it down a bit tip is if you see this uh, anchor point here if you just place it sort of as near to the edge that you want it as possible um, you should be good to go so there's our first fire element uh, in place um and tracked to our door uh pretty beautifully now we need to reposition this uh obviously because this is not looking right so i'm just going to stop that and then i can just uh fix it as i sort of go along uh the way i want really so that's our first piece of fire now um i'm gonna find another corner wall and I'm just going to put another bit along here somewhere. So I'm just going to drop this in. And I'm just going to bring that up so I can see it for a start. And I'll make that one a 3D layer, guys. Um, and I'm basically going to hold down Alt again, get my pit whip, and parent it again to my null object. And if you notice, as soon as you parent it, the actual geometry changes. So I'm going to scale that up as well. Um, I'm going to do that 3 and 5 and 9, same as the other one. And I'm just going to put it in a position uh, which befeeds the scene. So maybe just up against this door frame here. Let's bring it over a bit. And then it's the case of just playing around with the asset itself. Get our rotation tool. Uh, uh, zoom out a bit and just uh, play around with the rotation the actual fire itself and put it in the position that suits the scene uh, so that don't look too bad it's not perfect but um, still it's going to be tracked and it's going to look blooming good uh, once it's uh, finished so let's just bring this over now we've got a wired wall fire here um, so if you want to check this out just double click on it and then you can play the asset here um, as you can see it's a sort of build up fire and that's what I want so I'm gonna go back to my comp and I'm gonna drop this wall fire on. Oh this one shall I say? I wanna drop it dead center to the door. Um, it's gonna not come up yet, so we need to go further into the video scene because it's it's not it's not arrived yet. So here it is here. Um, I'm gonna make that 3D layer. I'm gonna hold down alt again, get my pitwick tool, and then I'm gonna parent that. Um, to my null object and then I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm just going to bring this over like so 
and then I'm just going to hit S on the keyboard and scale that up as well. Um, don't want it too big. Um, hold down Shift just to make the the transition quicker or the movement quicker. Uh, let's bring that there, and let's just bring it over to about there. So anchor points about there, maybe a little bit more. So select it again. Yep, to about there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one and I'm going to Command D or Control D if you're on a Windows PC. And I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to bring that one uh, over. So we've got two of them. And that is looking pretty good. Now let's just uh, go back to the beginning. And let's just test that out. It does look bright footage, but once we color correct and we bring the darkness down of the scene, um, it's going to look pretty awesome. So bear with me. Um, I've got a lot of rendering going on in the background and I'm trying to do this tutorial as well. So as you can see, that is looking pretty sweet. And once it's graded, guys, it's going to look even better. See the fire looks like it's coming out of the door frame, which is great. This one will build up. So if you look at the way it plays, this one's sort of like a build up fire. But we can fix that and we can bring this sort of to about there and then bring it down so it starts a little bit earlier. And let's just uh, bring this up a bit. There you go. And let's get this one. Bring this up a bit. A bit more. And maybe come along a bit. If you hold down shift and move the angle point, uh, it should move it a lot quicker, so that's not what we want. Let's bring it out. Right, there it is. Just until we find out where it is. Bring it up. Right, beautiful. That's exactly what we want. So, go back to the beginning. Let's just do a little rough... Um, very slow uh, RAM preview of that. It's a bit juddery, a bit jerky, but it's still going to give you a rough idea how this is done, so it's going to be cool. But as you can see, it is um, tracked beautifully with our tracking data. I do love fighting. And it's looking pretty awesome. Okay, this fire here is hanging over a bit. So we can uh, fix that, but it's not too sad, I suppose. We've got some really nice uh, elements of fire burning through the door there, which looks pretty awesome. Right, so now let's bring in our character which I've got and he is going to start about there so I'm going to bring him in he is on my desktop which is here it's a PNG sequence so I'm just going to uh, drop him on top now he's an awkward one the way I created him when I when he when I turn him into a 3d layer he just jarring for some reason <laughs> don't know why no a 3d element layer is jarring like he is I'm just gonna uh, Let's flip him over. Hopefully the right way. No, it's not the right way. Again. Yay, we got him the right way up. Bingo. 
Right, so I'm going to uh, press S on the keyboard and just uh, scale him up just a touch. So we get another idea of what he is. And then I'm just simply going to put him into position, which is down here on the floor. I'm going to scale him up some more. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'm just going to play around with his orientation. Or shall I say the way he's sitting. And because, guys, he's a 3D layer, we can bring him out a little bit more. Right, so he looks okay there. So let's hold down shift, get this Z position. And let's pull him forward. Like so. Now, if you look at him, he's got a harsh egg. A harsh edge. So what we're going to do, we're going to simply do... Get rid of that shape, because that's not what we wanted. Uh, let's select him and just do a nice little garbage mat around here. And then we're going to come up to our mask. And then we're going to click invert. So we're going to invert him. And then we're simply going to feather him out about 10 pixels. Now if we hide this, you can see he's got quite a nice feather. Let's feather him out, say 30 pixels. Let's go to town on this guy. Mm, yeah, yeah, that don't look too bad. Now, let's color correct him. Okay, I'm going to right click. We're going to go to effects. We're going to go to video copilot. We're going to go to Sabre. We're not going to save. What the hell am I doing, guys? Got save on the mind. Save on the mind. Color vibrance. That's a little bit better. Now, as soon as you hit color vibrance, guys, it's a free plugin at Video Copilot. So check it out. It's absolutely insane. Uh, I'm going to click part of the fire. And as you can see, he's starting to look buff. All right. So let's bring the brightness up. Maybe a bit more. Right, so let's bring the luminance down and let's bring the vibrance up I want him really a vibrant so as you can see I've got my badass character in the scene blending in with my video but as you can see we've got another harsh line here so we're gonna fix that but it's something we ain't done guys something we haven't done let's go back to the beginning or wherever he is and let's get our guy let's hold down oh and let's parent him to our no objects now let's put him back because we have just put him in position let's put him back the way he should be put back Right, now let's scale him back down. Oh, he looks scary. Right, let's bring him, uh, scale him more down. Let's go to a bit where we're on the floor. And let's just hold down shift, get our Z axis and bring him down to the floor I forgot to put him in the, in the, in the thing how can I do that man I forgot to uh, parent him before I did this I should have done that first <laughs> but oh well that's life guys that's life let's go forward a bit all right let's uh, hold down shift and bring him forward on a Z let's hit S on the keyboard and just scale him up a bit more. And let's go back and see how he looks. But as you can see, he's getting um, a lot more colour vibrance to him. Excuse the pun. So, let's play around with colour vibrance again and bring it down a bit. 
and that don't look too bad at all guys that don't look too bad let's just have a little round preview a very slow round preview Where's it gone? Whoa. Whoa. As you can see, he's looking absolutely incredible. He's looking really good. But what we're going to do, guys, we're going to add some more fire. Just a little bit more fire in front of him to blend in with the actual character itself. Um, or around here because he's dispersing fire up the side there um, but what we can do is um, color correct the fire to match him so he looks really good okay so let's go back here let's go to edit copy let's go to our fire command uh, command V and paste that effect onto uh, this fire here and then we're going to do the same to this one command V wall okay command V and then we're just going to bring the luminance down on that a bit actually Right, so that looks too bad. It looks like it's coming from him, if that makes sense. Like, part of this is sort of coming from him, so that's looking pretty whack. Just looking pretty good. Let's uh, extend this out there. Now we can add some particles if we want, we can add some dust, we can add some smoke, we can add uh, whatever we want to this character um, or this scene that we see fit. Um, and we will at some point. So let's um, shrink all this up and let's uh, put some fire uh, in front of him. So let's go to a point where we can see the floor here because I want to see the floor let's go forward um, about there let's go back to our projects and he's over he's, he's going over the door frame here so it's an easy fit guys um, let's, let's hold down shift and let's just bring him over slightly or you can mask out the door frame if you want but we don't need to because he, he's absolutely fine there um, so let's have a look what we got so we've got uh, ground fire so I want to double click on my ground fire and I'm just gonna uh, I just want to put it so it's already like kicking off if that makes sense and I'm just gonna drop that in there and let's just uh, bring that up let's bring it up more right now let's make this a 3d layer which has gone to that okay let's hold down alt again and parent that to our null object as well but do you see how many um, objects we can parent just to that one piece of tracking data insane absolutely insane so let's s on the keyboard let's scale it up a bit and let's hold down shift and just make sure our ground file is selected so we don't make no errors let's bring it over and let's bring it down to the floor and maybe push it back in Z space you see how it's running along the floor now let's uh, bring that bit out and 
that's cool now what we're going to do is let's rotate this um this is the bit that i hate let's rotate this round hopefully we've gone the right way let's uh, uh bring it forward bring it forward some more i want it sort of under him let's bring it over And remember guys, this is all apparently to our data, our tracking. So it's gonna give off a really nice uh, effect uh, there. So uh, we are about done with that. Let's add one more element, which I have downloaded from the Action VFX website. And that is my smoke element. And I'm just gonna drop that on top. I am going to ooh, go to blend mode and go to screen. Right, so we've got some nice smoke going on here. Let's scale that right down, guys. And let's just uh, bring that smoke over. about there and let's um close this reopen it and let's just put the opacity down to say 50 percent don't want to see too much smoke but i want it to sort of be there if that makes sense um let's uh, make that a 3d layer and then let's again hold down all parent that to our no object and then get our smoke s on the keyboard we'll rescale that up Let's uh, oh, tilt that the other way. If I can. Oh, I hate rotating. Leave it a message in the description. Who, who likes rotating stuff in bloody um, After Effects? Let's do it. I think I should have done it like that to start with. Right, so let's um, hold down shift again. With our smoke selected, let's bring it over. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a really, really subtle garbage mat around my smoke. Alright, so F on the keyboard, further that out. Right, so, so we've got some nice smoke effect. And then maybe scale that up. About there. Let's scale it up some more. So we fill the screen. Now that smoke's going to move with our tracking data, so it's not going to look sort of out of place, really. Um, and then let's go to our uh, effects. Let's go to... No, sorry. Sorry, I do apologise, guys. Let's open up our opacity and put it down to 15%. Nope, bit higher than that. Let's go 25. Want some smoke in the scene, guys. Bring this here, marker to here, and let's run preview that. We're previewing it at half res, so um, it's doing it bit by bit. I've got so much going on in this computer at the moment, guys. It's frightening. Um, when we add us, once we add our darkness, put it, make the scene darker, add our sound effects. Uh, so on and so on, this should look pretty uh, goddamn cool, but I'm thinking about getting rid of colour vibrance on this fire because I don't like the way that looks, but watch how beautiful 
once we get there, this uh, tracking tracks the scene. It is absolutely stunning. Looks really good. This fire is spreading along the floor. Might need to move him over to about there, which we're doing in a sec, because he's not in the right position. Yep, let's do that now. So, so let's select him and let's just move him over a touch. Maybe just a little bit more. It's about there. Let's find this uh, fire element. Uh, it wasn't that one. Well, it might be that one. Uh, that's absolutely fine because once we color grade, uh, we should be good. So we're going to render this out now together 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 so if you don't know how to render guys and i don't know who don't we're going to go up to composite add to render queue go to a lossless i'm going to keep that on quick time format change that to h264 which is what we're working click ok click ok and then i'm going to put monster final and this is going to go into our uh, edit which we're going to do in a minute so i'm going to click save click render and that should render out our scene. And once that's completed, guys, uh, I'll come back and then we can dive into Premiere Pro and finish this beauty up. 